today, Shalu? We're at Volcano Bay. Brand new water park by Universal. Looks nice, doesn't it? Looks very fresh. Huh? Looks very fresh. Very fresh. of what number of days we're on. I think we've got exactly a week left. It's Tuesday today and we leave on Tuesday the 29th. Can't believe how fast two weeks have gone. Yesterday we just had a chilled out day at the villa, swam in the pool, rested, watched a bit of TV, rested again, popped to a couple of shops, swam in the pool again and then went out for dinner to Manny's Chop House which is amazing. We had ribs and steak and chicken wings. We just all shared and it was amazing food so if you guys are out here you've definitely got to try Manny's Chop House because the food is amazing so today we're at Volcano Bay uh, the kids are in the uh, wave pool behind me the waves aren't actually on at the moment we've had a couple of great hours already here we've got our tapu tapus on so if you don't know how these work basically they give you one of these at the entrance and then all you do is go to a ride swipe it and then it will tell you the time to come back for that ride. Now you can only do one at a time, 
it has its ups, it has its ups and it has its downs. The downside is obviously you're waiting a long time, but the upside is the time actually flies by because you can use that time while you're waiting for that ride. See, at the moment I've got Honu in 55 minutes. It was 115 minutes when I swiped it. But until then, you know, we've managed to grab a bite to eat, go in the lazy river, go in the wave pool. And so you're able to do other things while you're waiting for your queue. And when you actually do turn up and it buzzes and tells you to ride now, you enter the queue line. And actually there's not a great queue because you've already done your waiting. It's kind of like a virtual queue. So it's worked out really well. There's only one ride here, which is a ride now, apart from the lazy river and the wave pool, which you can enjoy at any time. And that's the Taniwa tubes. Maybe not pronouncing that correctly, but we did that twice. We did the green one and the yellow one, uh, all four of us. So that was a ride now ride. And then we've done a couple of other ones as well, a couple of family ones. We did Mak Meku or Maku, don't know how we pronounce that. And now we've got a ride for Honu as well, which is another family one that we can all go together. But there are so many here to do. We've got to do Krakatau, the aqua coaster yet. So as soon as we've done Honu, we're going to get a time for that and chill. But the advice is always to make sure that you've always got something counting down on your Tapu Tapu rather than chilling for a bit and then going to get a time. Always have a time on here because you're in a virtual queue, so your time is counting down. But I mean, the volcano behind me looks amazing. As soon as you turn the corner and enter the park, you are wowed straight away. It is absolutely beautiful. All the parks we've been to, the water parks, Typhoon Lagoon and Aquatica, I've really loved the theming of all of them, but this park just blows them out of the water. Literally, this one and the theming is out of this world. It has a different system, obviously, because we have the Tapu Tapu and the, and the other parks you can just queue up for whichever slide you want to go on. But in terms of how this park is laid out, everything is easy to find. That volcano is just wow. And there are some drop slides up at the top where you get into the lift and then the floor drops out beneath you. So Suk and Shalini want to try those a bit later. But I mean, you can just look behind me, you can see how amazing it is. I don't need to sell it to you in any way because it's absolutely fabulous. And I'm sure when the evening sets in and the colors start to change in the volcano, that you'll be equally as impressed because we're really impressed with it right now. And we can't wait to get on some more slides and then do the action river as well, which we really want to do, which is kind of a faster version of the lazy river. So we're going to do that next. And then we're going to ride Hanu.
been at uh, Volcano Bay a couple of hours now, what, about three or four hours now. The kids are having a little play in the uh, kids area there and we've got the lazy river behind us which we've been on a few times now because it's a nice way to just chill and relax while we're waiting for our next ride time to come up. We've got Honu just behind us, Honu and I can't remember the name of the other one which is next to it. They're both different rides but they're both um, uh, family thrill rides, multi-person thrill rides. We've got the kids area just here like I said and cannot get by in this heat it is like literally burning hot without these drinks. We purchased this in uh, Universal the other day and we spent two days, one at Islands of Adventure and one day at Universal Studios and then you buy the cup for about $14.99 but because both myself and my sister bought one we got them for about $13.99 and then every day to re-top it up you just pay another eight or so dollars and then you can just get unlimited refills for the entire day which come in really handy when you fancy a bit of water but there's like hundreds of choices uh, of drinks every flavor for every drink you can imagine caffeine free low calorie energy drinks so many variations of coke fanta and sprite it's you know unbelievable obviously many other drink brands are available uh so yeah so we're just chilling out here for a bit before we go on our next ride but the big one for us today is krakatau that's the one we're really looking forward to the wait time at the moment is about 155 minutes but like i said we wouldn't have to literally wait that long because you're already in a virtual queue so once we hit the totem, the Krakatau totem, with our Tapu Tapu, the uh, clock starts running anyway. So in the meantime, you can go around the park and do other things. So we're really looking forward to riding that one because that's the big one. And that, there's nothing like that in any of the parks we've been to, neither Aquatica nor Typhoon Lagoon. I'd say Typhoon Lagoon's more family friendly. This is definitely family friendly, but there are some thrill rides here. I'd say Aquatica's made, maybe there's a lot more thrill rides, so a, they kind of go up in tiers from Typhoon to uh, Volcano Bay to uh, Aquatica in terms of kind of thrill level. But the kids are really enjoying this one and I think they're enjoying the theming of this one as well a lot better than some of the others. So we're really looking forward to spending another four hours here. The park's up until 8pm so hopefully we're going to be here till the very end and ride as many of these slides as we can. And if we do get a second day here, it's definitely worth coming back.
almost coming to an end here at Volcano Bay. We've done so many slides, even with long wait times. It's still busy even though the schools have gone back, the uh, Florida schools have gone back to school. But there are a lot of tourists here from Mexico, from Spain, quite a few Europeans, lots of Brits. From Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, lots of people from India and Canada as well, which we noticed. Well, we've done uh, Puihi, which is this big green slide, which is quite scary, actually. Careful how you say that. We're, <laughs> we're quite impressed that Shivam actually went on it. It's behind me, actually, so I'm going to turn the camera around so you can have a look. But it's Shivam, yeah, Shivam managed to do that one, which is great. We also did Honu, which is absolutely humongous. I was not prepared for actually how big it was, but it was absolutely buzzing. We had a really, really good time on it. Then um, I managed to just, well, just get changed and chill out for a bit in the wave pool uh, just before I got changed. We went on the Fearless River, actually, I forgot to mention, uh, two or three times. It's actually quite uh, scary, isn't it, the Fearless River? Yeah, it just takes you away. You've got to get on with your family at the same time, otherwise you spend the whole time looking for Looking your for your family. <laughs> we lost both our kids and both me and Suk went drifting off down and there's quite a lot of waves in there as well. And then thankfully a man managed to help. Charlene's great with Shivam, but uh, a man managed to help Charlene and Shivam both uh, link up together. So they were able to eventually find us. But we went around that three times and Shivam lost his tapu tapu in there. So we quickly went to concierge and just got another one. And by then our ride time for Honu was ready. And after I got changed, Suk and Charlene did the hunger races, which are on the uh, blue mats. So you go face first. And those are just behind me now. And now you guys have got a ride time for uh, the Krakatau, 20 minutes the left. Aqua Coaster, 20, 20, minutes 20 minutes left for that. Left. Usually this ride is about four hours all day. And I just spoke to the lady, she goes, end of the day is your best chance all right at the beginning. So we just went there on, on an off chance. We said half an hour, now it's 20 minutes. So it's the best ride, probably the best ride in the park. It's like an aqua coaster. You go, it's like Bob's Lane, basically. We're going to go on that next. With the least weight. Yeah, with the least weight. So Suk and Charlene are going to go on that. Uh, Shiv and I are just chilling. We refilled our drinks cup about 10 times while we're waiting for these guys. My throat is really sore. Uh, I've had lots of ice water, lots of drinks. You can see the volcano behind me now, but I'm still raring to go. We've got uh, Epcot tomorrow and followed by Hollywood Studios in the afternoon because we haven't yet seen the Star Wars uh, spect spectacular of the fireworks at night. <coughs> Excuse me while I cough. Cough it out, yeah, I've got quite a cough on me. So uh, Shivam and, sorry, Suk and Charlene are just going to go on Krakatau Coaster. And then we're on our way out of here from Volcano Bay and then we'll go grab dinner. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Don't know what it's going to be. We'll ask the kids. We'll give them their Something choice. spicy. Yeah, Shivam says he fancies Indian tonight. But we have ha had Indian quite a few nights because we've actually done some cooking at the villa as well, which is quite nice. But uh, last night we had chops and we had burgers for lunch. So Shivam probably fancies a bit of Thai or Chinese or some Indian. But we'll make that decision once we're done from here. Suk likes to groom his eyebrows every now and then. They're getting a bit bushy there. <laughs> They're getting... 40. <laughs> Nearly 41. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Don't look it though. Don't look it. <laughs> and I'll be 40 later this year. I'll be 14 in November. Ah! Although I'm not scary. I'm quite proud of my age. I think we look quite young for 40. I'm going to age disgracefully. <laughs> Excuse me. My cough is getting really bad. I think we'll have to stop by CVS or Walgreens on the way back. Yeah, there's loads of them on the way. Just to get some cough medicine yeah. and something for my throat. But from Volcano Bay, over and out.
best ride of the day. Best ride.